Hello, everybody out there. My name is Garrett Galhoff. This is Eventide Online Church, where we gather every day, every second day, and we um, we give a little bit of the scriptures. We talk about the news, and we're just all waiting together for that harpazo, that great and wonder and glorious day where we're in that actual real place called heaven. So pretty soon this whole gray area, this black and white movie is going to be over with and we're going to be in technicolor. <laughs> we're going to be there. We're going to be seeing each other instead of talking online in the comments. Thumbs up. This is going to be a great show. I promise you it's going to be a long show. Breaking news is off the charts. It's coming out right now. And I'm transmitting from Tumblr Ridge, British Columbia, Canada, like I always say. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Garrett Galhoff, if I haven't just said that, and I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys, and um, and just know I love you guys. I could say it, and I'll probably say it a few times through the show, because it's a real thing going on in my heart towards you. I am a pastor, a registered pastor, not a bubblegum um, cereal box present prize internet uh, thing that you get off. That's a real thing over there. And uh, God did it. God did it for sure. I'm going to read out of the Bible right now. We're going to get into Nahum. Are we in Nahum? We're in Nahum, you guys. Uh, so let's just read out of Nahum chapter 1. Oh, okay. God is a jealous. God is jealous and the Lord avenges. The Lord avenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he reserves wrath for his enemies. Praise the Lord. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. You guys, let's go on. The mountains quake before him. The hills melt and the earth heaves at his presence. Yes, the world and all who dwell in it. Who can stand before his ignorance? Dignation, and who can endure the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust in him. He knows us, you guys. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of its place, and darkness will pursue his and our enemies. Praise the Lord, you guys. I mentioned John 10, 10 in yesterday's ditty, but I only read, I didn't read the whole thing. So I'm going to read John 10, 10. Well, where are we here? Here's, here it is, you guys. <laughs> John 10, 10. I read, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to, to destroy. This is what I missed out. Jesus' words, red letters. Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. And I pray that into everybody that's watching this show. Life and more abundantly. Happiness, joy. Let's go, you guys. Abundantly. Uh, let's go Greek here. Perosis. Uh, Perissos. Strong's number 4053. Super abundance. Excessive. This is what we get, you guys. The Bible, not me. Surplus, over and above, more than enough, profuse, extraordinary, above the ordinary, more than sufficient, you guys. The abundant life, God's abundance, God's covenant to us is a covenant for abundant life. From the very beginning of time, Scripture shows us that God wanted us to be happy and prosperous. And no, I'm not a prosperity teacher, okay? <clears throat> But in Genesis, we are told that God made everything and declared it to be good. Then he gave this beautiful, plentiful earth to Adam. Adam was given dominion over all of it. That's Genesis 1.28. God's plan from the very beginning was for man to be enriched and to have a prosperous, abundant life. Here, Jesus declares his intention to recover and restore to man what was the Father's intent and to break and block the devil's intent to hinder our receiving it. 
So we come against the principalities, powers of darkness right now for everybody watching, for everyone involved in Eventide, and those that have faith and believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Satan, get, get, get. We rebuke you this day, today, and we accept the abundant life. The abundant life. Because we may have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Hey, you guys. Did I tell you I love you? Look at what look at one of the silent partners got me. One of the Tumblr Rids gave it to me. Okay. A lot of people love this show and um uh, they're not very vocal about it, but they uh, they see what God's doing. You guys, the news is off the chart now. News is off the We got the abundant life. Don't take that. Don't take it sitting down. Take back what the enemy's taken from you. You got something in your mind? Something you're going through? Something the devil put on you? Take it back with joy. Okay, you guys, I love you, man. Where are we going with this, man? I'm, wait till you see what's going on. What's going on? You've probably heard some of this in the last 24 hours or 48 since I've been on. But I'm telling you, let's uh, let's go to break. And, hey, um, we're going home soon. <laughs> My Christmas cup. I think I have a picture of pickles, too. Oh, lots of mail going out, you guys. Thanks to you know who, Saskatchewan girl there looking up. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, hold on, you guys. I'm just all over. I didn't get prepared as much as I should have this morning. I did pray. You guys, it's called Paul Temps. It's got see all these countries starting today. Yeah, it's the seventh today, you guys. It's minute seven. Starting today, there's this big, it's a new large-scale uh, NATO, naval uh, exercise. It's called Ball Tops. And it's just kicking off today, man. Just kicking off today. Listen to what it is. Between June 7th and the 20th of this month, uh, four amphibious task groups and multinational task units composed of more than 50 Vessels, 25 aircraft, and 9,000 personnel from Belgium, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, <laughs> Portugal, Romania, Spain, Sweden, Tur Turkey. What's that? I don't know. Turkey. The United Kingdom and the United States are participating in various maritime drills around the region. You guys, that's from the 7th to the 20th. And I know you've heard that. Russia's, we're going to get to Russia with all ships moving 90 miles off the United States to Cuba. Okay. Rumors of a nuclear sub, which they're already out there anyways, probably killing the fish with their sonar. Breaking, breaking. Here's a lot of breaking news just now, five minutes before the show. Did I tell you I love you? I, I know lots of you. I know your names. I could rattle off a bunch now, but I feel like this is a real church. This is a real thumbs up, you guys. If you didn't do the thumbs up, it helps the algorithm. It's one way to witness to others. Someone lost might see this because Jesus is Lord. That's what we do here. And uh, Okay. Calm down, Gary. Breaking. Biden announced a new aid of $225 million to the Ukraine during a meeting in Paris with President uh, Zelensky. And Biden apologized for the delay of the weapons, of more weapons. It's right here. Of a weapons. 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 What a world we live in, you guys. We're just on the cusp. Breaking. United States British airstrikes on the Yemeni, 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 capital of Sana, which is against the positions of the Houthis. So the United States and British 
in the last uh, 10 hours or so really did a number on the Yemeni capital. The capital, that's where the Houthis are in Yemeni. Uh, breaking. Israel army, this is breaking, breaking. Israel army is expected to start the full out on war military operation against Hezbollah in the next 24 to 48 hours. This is from the Hebrew media Fori. They're, they're all right. But that's what they're claiming. And they have their inside sources, I'm sure. Uh, Hebrew media, Israel, Hebrew area. Um, Ukraine. Ukraine just knocked out another important radar, Russian radar system. Now, what's that? Four now? Four, the Ukrainians. This is from the Daily Digest two hours ago. So I think it's added on to the other ones, unless unless they're late. Some of these breaking news are late. But this just come out that the Ukraine's, Ukraine just knocked out another important Russian radar system. Oh, you guys, man, I see 11 is everywhere. Do you guys? Look at this truck across my house. Everywhere, 11 11 and I don't know what it is. Of the 38 most advanced countries in the world, Canada's economic performance, that's the reflection of our standard of living. Okay. It's projected to be dead last for the next 40 years. It's dead last. Canada's economic performance is now at the bottom of a list of 40, of 38, I should say, 38 countries. My buddy Chris knows about that. I can't put him on. I'll get dinged. They hate him. El Nina will complicate things for Biden ahead of elections as hurricanes threaten oil for refineries. Yeah, I just, I told you yesterday, the beginning of hurricane season was six days, seven days ago. It was the first of this month. Well, they're they're adding into the, they're saying instead of 14 average hurricanes, it's going to be like 26 of them. And they're not going to be average. They're going to be, we'll have to see if, if that Mark Luke chapter in the seas and the waves roaring, that's hurricanes. That's floods. That's prophecy. That's coming alive. It was the last year. So these storms could potentially disrupt major U.S. Gulf Coast refineries, driving average uh, gasoline prices way up. I'm just saying, it's called El Nina. There, we went through El Nino. Now it's El Nina. So it's going to be an active Atlantic hurricane season. These hurricanes, they come off of Africa. You know, they come across the Atlantic, they hit Florida, the Gulf, they go up the coast. I think we're going to see a few, uh, we might see a few big ones, you guys. Katrina is in that caliber. The United States isn't being very nice to our friend and partner in the Bible where it says, you know, Genesis and that, don't don't go against Israel. Just just pray for the peace of Jerusalem. World War Three alert. Germany reveals plan. This came out yesterday. Uh, the Canadian prepper did a good show on it. It's, the Germany came out with a, with a booklet for their people on uh, how to survive a nuclear war. Uh, they updated its strict wartime measures for the first time since the Cold War also. And, uh, well, yeah, the government presented these shocking changes. I'm just saying, you guys, it's... Uh, there's food rationing in this. There's build yourself a bunker, have yourself lots of food. The government, you know, like a few months ago, everyone was called an idiot to be a, thinking that this could come to a place where it is right now. Wars and rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation, nation being ethnic group. I told you that the other day. Breaking Macron. The leader of France announces that France will transfer French, the French Mirage 2000-5 multi-role fighter jet to the Ukraine. Fighter jets. France is giving the Ukraine many jets. The Ukrainian pilots will be trained in France and then allowed to strike targets within Russia. Breaking. 
Associated Press reports that multiple Russian Navy warships are headed for the Caribbean for unscheduled drills following American approval of the Ukraine using NATO-supplied weapons and strikes deep into Russia, which now Biden said, leave Moscow alone, you know, leave the major cities alone. You're only allowed to use our missiles to go 200 miles into Russia. Here's Biden telling the Ukraine how to fight the Ukraine's supposedly war. The Ukraine's a puppet club for the United States. Biden's call, the United States is, call, is, is running the show. Putin's not stupid. He's a chess player. He's going to Cuba. Remember what happened in 1962, was it? 61? 63? Um, the Cuba Missile Crisis. Russian naval ships, including nuclear-powered submarines, to visit Cuba. A group of Russian naval ships, including a nuclear-powered submarine, will visit Cuba next week. Next week, you guys. This is next week. Hello? Are you listening? Uh, next week, as part of a historically friendly relations, Cuba's government said Friday. When's Friday? Oh, it's today. Breaking. Cuba says none of the ships carry nuclear weapons. <laughs> and insists that their stopover does not represent a threat to the region. You got to say that. I love my coffee. Oh, I love my Jesus. We're going home soon. Steve Bannon. Of Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon. Okay, Donald Trump. He's going to be sentenced. I don't believe he's had a sentence. It's coming up. A lot of people think it's going to spark a fuse. But Steve Bannon, a former top advisor to top Donald Trump, must report to prison by July 1st to serve a four-month sentence for contempt of Congress, a federal judge said Thursday. Steve Bannon, outside the courthouse, was, was adamant. He said, there is not a prison built or a jail built that will ever shut me up. I saw the video, and he stands behind Trump, says Trump's going to become president. We'll see. There's a Trump card out there, you guys. Russia is deploying air and sea assets for military exercise in the Caribbean. I told you that. Uh, and that's from U United States officials. Russia is preparing to do this is another swing on it. Russia is preparing to deploy aircraft and combat naval vessels. Oh, this is Russia. Yeah, to the Caribbean to conduct military exercises in the coming weeks. Its first exercise in the Western Hemisphere involving both air and sea activity in five years. So they did this five years ago. The Biden administration is not expressing any concern. Hey, what's that? They'll be saying peace and security, then sudden destruction. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you guys where this is headed, but the official said that the administration expects Moscow will conduct heightened naval and air activity near the United States. Cuba's 90 miles away. It, it'll likely include port calls by combat naval vessels to Cuba and Cuba, uh, Venezuela, which are two long-standing Russian allies that have seen occasional visits from Russian naval assets in the past 20 years. Breaking. Oh, they're making a big deal. Okay, Mexico comes out and they say this H1N1 is a bunch of baloney. We're not going to have the WHO dictate this and that. So Mexico stood up to the elite, the powers to be. So what happens? The World Health Organization warns a new strain of bird flu has jumped to humans with potential for high public health impact as a man in Mexico. 59 years old, tested positive before dying from it. He's elite, you guys. They're six, 12, 13 families, whatever you want to call it. Probably talking right to the devil himself, who materializes in their big castles and mansions and said, this is what we're going to do, you guys. 
I'm just saying. Hey, Satan's showed himself to Jesus, offered him kingdoms. Why wouldn't he pop it up a bunch of elite in the world and do the same thing this day and age? Of course he would. Um, a lot of people have come out of Satanism, witchcraft, that have stories of verbally talking to the devil because the devil don't. Let's not get into that. Okay, so, uh, but, uh, oh yeah, this is what I was touching on before. Biden state, stated that United States weapons are not allowed for Ukrainian strikes on the city of Moscow or the Kremlin. So President Joe Biden has clarified that while U.S. weapons can be used by the Ukraine, they are not permitted for attacks on Moscow or the Kremlin. The statement comes after discussions on the extent of Ukrainian operations using American military aid. The decision aims to manage the escalation and implications of the conflict, ensuring that U.S. supplied weaponry is not used for attacks deep within Russian territory. Look, the Ukraine is at war with Russia. What do you do in war? You attack the opposing country. But now another country, which is the United States, is saying, well, you can do this and this, but you can't do that and that. What a weird time we live in, you guys. What's going on? Gotland. Gotland, you guys, in the Baltics. Gotland is an island. Anyways, that middle thing there is Gotland. I'm going to speak more on that in the coming coming weeks or days. Gotland, powder keg. It's got NATO troops on it, but Russia's doing a lot of war games around Gotland. Strategic island, strategic to the to the teeth. You guys, yeah, Germany updates their wartime measures following threats by Putin. So, Germany has updated their Reinstating conscription, so the draft. Citizens now can be drafted at any time. Evacuation and rationing, plans for mass evac evacuation and food rationing, bunkers and hospitals. So subway stations are makeshift bunkers. Hospitals are ready for emergencies. Secret food reserves stored in undisclosed locations. Job bans in key sectors. Prohibitions on Quitting critical jobs. <clears throat> so you can't even quit your job if it's important. NATO uh, troop movements. What's this one say? Facilitating rapid deployment. So Germany is all freaking out over what could happen. Uh, I can't say anything here, you guys. Um, so anyways, long story short, Germany has revealed plans for their uh, citizens. If Russia attacks. Um, what's this one? France will deliver. I told you about that. Those, those uh, Mirage jets to the Ukraine. The French president has confirmed that he has allowed Kiev to carry out attacks on the territory of the Russian Federation with French missiles. So you got the United States saying don't. Don't bomb, you know, the Kremlin, Moscow. And here's the French president giving permission to go and attack the territory of the Russian Federation with their French missiles. Also, Macron added that France intends to train and arm the Ukrainian brigade of 4,500 soldiers. It says here that Paris wants peace, but it cannot be achieved at the price of Ukraine's Capitulation, Macron said. Oh, wow. Yeah, POTUS. So Biden says the Ukraine can strike within 200 miles of the border. Man, the Ukraine. Everybody else is fighting through the Ukraine. Boy, there's a lot of coaches out there, eh, for the Ukraine. And then Yelinsky or Zelensky, he 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 didn't go with an election. He's is that could that happen November November when the United States, I love you guys, 
when the government of the United States, if if all of a sudden there's a semi nuclear thing or this or that or the United States is in it more, or even if it's the same as now as then, could Biden say, Ah, we're holding off the election, man. There's too much going on right now. We can't change. It'll it'll our country will be weak. No election. No election. We're in wartime. Wartime. Biden. He can't walk a straight line. He thinks there's chairs behind him when there aren't to sit down. He's uh, falling asleep, slurring in his words. A and they think he's not going to, if there is an election, I guarantee you 100, they'll put the rock in there or someone else. He's not going to run. President Biden is not going to run for president. <laughs> I'm serious. Biden's not going to run for election. Come on. He, we know he's a puppet. But come on. He's. Let's go to breaking, breaking, breaking. Come on. Biden run for president? And look at Donald Trump. He's a convicted felon in jail. Probably the only hope in a physical, humanistic manner, which God could still use and turn things around. I don't know, you guys. We're living in the end times, man. Paul, John, Peter, they're all going to come up to us going, man, wasn't it a, what, how'd you feel like living through the end times? Wasn't it a riot? What happened? What were you praying for? We got to keep praying, you guys. We got to keep praying. Okay, I'm going to breaking, breaking news, you guys. Breaking, breaking news. We got breaking, breaking news in. Hey, did I tell you in the last 26 minutes that I love you guys? Uh, put your prayer request down there in the comments. Lord, I just pray for every prayer request that is written, it, written down in the comments of this ditty, Lord God, to be answered to the fullest from the words that I read this morning at the beginning of the show. That, Lord God, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but you get, came to give life and give it more abundantly. I pray that blessing, that promise to everybody watching this show. Don't let the devil take your joy, you guys. Okay, here we go, you guys. Arab media reports on an American-British attack at Santa's capital. That's in Yemen. I told you about that. All right. Major floods. Oh, no, that's... I got out of where I was into. Yeah, the IDF has completed the whole complete takeover of the entire Philadelphia axis. They've reached the sea near Rafa. So, uh, oh, this is harsh. Listen to the people. I love killing babies. I love Jesus. that. Jesus. You have to give her the word. I'm not like, you have to give her the word. I'm going to keep having them. I love killing babies. I love Jesus. that. Jesus. We have to give her the word. Like we have to give her the words. We have to give her the word. 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 We from what the heart feels and thinks comes audibly. You guys, that's horrible. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Let's get out of there. Okay, let's see if there's... Uh, here's something. A creepy, shadowy figure seen at the Taylor Swift concert sends the internet into a frenzy, you guys. Taylor Swift. She's totally Illuminati. Taylor Swift. You know what your kids, you know what they're singing along with? But there's a shadowy figure seen at the tape, probably the devil himself. Stay away from Taylor Swift concerts is what I, uh, you know, whatever. They're not, they're not right. They're not good, you guys. Taylor Swift is just another the jellyfish in the bowl, another frog in the pot of hot water. Man, 
if today's news that I said said to you, like, you know, whatever, half a year ago or something, all this was coming down, you know, one or two of those would set set the internet people off into frenzy for days, for three days before the next thing. You guys, we, it's just a tsunami of news events. I love you guys. Hey, man, go today knowing that you're well loved by others and the Lord himself and that he will put a hedge around your family and has already put a hedge around your family. So there's no reason to worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Man, I, I read a bunch of news on Canada's second mortgages and this and what the banks are doing and they're crashing and, you know, like, oh, I could, do, you know, but <laughs> it is what it is. Think about today, you know, not not tomorrow, not as much as yesterday. Today, okay, I'm sure you all got something in the fridge. Nice weather, bad weather, good weather. Enjoy your day and walk and talk with Jesus this day. Walk and talk with Jesus. Like Enoch. Let's be a bunch of Enoch type personality people. Enoch had a wife and kids and he would walk with God. He would walk with God, talk with God. And God just loved it so much, loved him so much. Just said, come on, Enoch, I'm rapturing you up here. I want you right here in my throne room. I got something to tell you personally. I'm taking you out of that gray area. And I'm sure Enoch didn't argue. Most people with NDEs, near-death experiences, they don't want to come back. You know, and an angel of Jesus says, your time is not up. You got something to do, right? But Enoch went home, and we're all going home. So let's do what Enoch did. He was a... And then the other guy, Elisha. Elijah or Elisha? He took off his jacket. Elijah took off his jacket, put it on Elisha, and was raptured. He knew he was going, but he didn't know the time. Hey, there you go. He knew God was going to take him, but he didn't know the exact time. Okay, you guys, same with uh, Noah. Noah's Ark, hey? He knew he was going to go. He built the Ark for so long, he had it pretty well finished, finished. But he didn't know the day. Lot. Lot was surprised when the angel showed up and says, hey, man, you and your family got to get out of here because God's going to rain judgment down on this town, Sodom, and the other town close by, Gomorrah. I love you guys. Um, pray protection over me in, my, in this ministry, okay? It needs prayer. You know, I've said a lot of things where... You know, the powers to be, the platform I'm on could easily give me more strikes and take me down or whatever. But God's leaving it up because God has the final say in everything. Every God has a final say in if you got cancer. God has a final say if you're going to lose your house. God has a final say in, um, in your family going to hell or heaven. Which should go into heaven because if you're saved, so shall your family be saved. It's an ax. Google it. Claim that promise. Pray for that promise. Lord God, I just pray everybody on this channel have a hedge of protection around them. And Lord, give them the joy. If it's hard for them to find the joy, I just ask that you would press into their spirit, which will just exuberate out their flesh. A joy of the Lord, a presence of you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we love you so much. Father, I pray this blessing on everybody here. In Jesus' name, amen.